YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's happening, YouTube? Well, I guess I can speak about a few things. And this right here is my conscious drive-by. I heard a video a couple of days ago and the brother was speaking on a conscious drive-by. This right here is going to be my conscious drive-by because we need that shit from time to time. I mean, the truth hurts, but it doesn't kill anyone. <laughs> no. <clears throat> we need a conscious drive-by on ourselves sometimes. The word for the day is neat. Uh, the word for the day is going to be Uncle Tom. In my eyes right now, <clears throat> in all my years of living, and from the things I see in, in America, every Negro here is an Uncle Tom. I mean, you got one that might not feel that he's an Uncle Tom, and he might point way across the street, or way over yonder, as some would say. <laughs> will point way over there and call his brother an Uncle Tom because he's smiling and, and yes sir and yes sir boss or whatever he's saying to keep his job or whatever to keep his money flow coming in but you will look or we will look at that at that brother and say he's an Uncle Tom he's a yes man We won't look at ourselves. We won't look in the mirror as a collective and say, or even ask ourselves, are we an Uncle Tom? Am I on the job? Smiling at smiling in the white man's face to get a check every week? Am I on the white man's job? serving him being a yes man am I entertaining white folks and it seems to me we are I can even call myself an awkward time for real I might not be the extreme Uncle Tom. <laughs> you got your extremist. You know that go all out. That they, they know that powerful. They don't mind showing their Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom membership. Put it that way. They don't mind showing it. Then you got some, you know, you got your closet Uncle Toms. On the outside, they might not appear to be being Uncle Tom because they're hiding it. But your ass an Uncle Tom too, you know. Black men, Uncle Toms, black women are Uncle Toms too, as a collective. We are all Uncle Toms. It's like right now, you know, on YouTube, you see a lot of uh, rest in peace, Emmanuel Stewart, and Emmanuel Stewart was a great trainer, and such and such. But but how many of those who are making these videos that say rest in peace, Emmanuel Stewart, how many call this man an Uncle Tom? How many call Emmanuel Stewart an Uncle Tom? and then turn right around and give this man respect after his death now if that an Uncle Tom move I would think it would be I would think so we are all Uncle Toms 
if your brother and Uncle Tom, God damn it, you want to. God. Uh, black men blaming black women and black women blaming men, you know, having gender wars on YouTube, your ass with Uncle Tom too. You got many black women as Uncle Toms. Rather you a damn, uh, what they call them, to, uh, hood rats. They call the female hood rats and whatever they call them. You know, they got all kinds of names and shit just to just to separate themselves from one another, but at the end of the day, your ass Uncle Tom too. Rather you get a hood rat, a chick that got that weave extensions and blue hair and purple weave and gold weave and loud mouth attitude and rather you got a degree, whatever you got, God damn it, your Uncle Tom too. You know what I'm saying? All in the same boat, going nowhere. Black man ain't got no power, and the black woman ain't got no power either. And the black woman got some uh, a false, a false sense of power because she got the white man backing her more so than he's backing the black man. But you as a Negro, you know, uh, Uncle Tom too. And Uncle Tom, I don't give a damn if you in the street slinging dope, the biggest dope dealer out there, your ass Uncle Tom too, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uncle Tom, man, I don't give a damn how successful you are, how much money you make, you want Uncle Tom, I will use Jay-Z for an example. Millionaire, claiming he's still hood or whatever. Nigga, you Uncle Tom too. How you think you got to be successful, Uncle Tom? I don't care how hood you talk. I don't care how hard you walk or how hard you talk. Your ass with Uncle Tom. And Uncle Tom, I could look in the mirror and look at myself and call myself the same thing. I'm an Uncle Tom too. Anytime you know, you see your people, your people suffering and dying, ain't doing nothing about it. Living your everyday life, saving yourself, saving our own selves. Then some of you Uncle Toms hide behind your children hide behind your jobs, hide behind your career, and everything else. I mean, you got every excuse, or we got every excuse to remain an Uncle Tom. Then you're trying to hide the fact that you are not an Uncle Tom, when the reality of it is your ass an Uncle Tom. And yes, this is a conscious drive-by. <laughs> And I ain't missing that, and I'm not missing myself, you know. I'm doing a conscious drive by on my own, goddamn self. You niggas are Uncle Tom, and I'm an Uncle Tom too, because I'm in the same boat with you, sinking fast. And out of all you Negroes out there that's running out, panicking, thinking Obama gonna lose the election, <laughs> your ass an Uncle Tom too. Uncle Tom's and Uncle Tom that's what we are that's the way that we will remain and Uncle Tom and they probably hearing the sound the sound of my voice saying this nigga crazy I ain't no goddamn Uncle Tom alright <laughs> Nigga, you Uncle Tom too. Just in denial. You're in denial about it. I'm not gonna make this video too long. I'm not on YouTube.